Surprise, surprise. Good Thursday morning, everybody. Come on in. It's a glorious day at the Howells house today. Hope you're having a God-blessed, beautiful, wonderful Thursday as I am. Uh, today is a special day here at the Howell house for me anyway. Everybody's working in wherever, you know, different places. Uh, but you know what? One thing about the God that I serve, even in the face of sadness and things going wrong, he can always, he will always give you something. If you look hard enough, he will give you something to be glad about. This is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. I'm excited about today. I'm excited that the Lord woke me up this morning and started me on my way. And I am so glad that the first thing that popped on my um, phone this morning was that God will bless me according to his riches and glory and strengthen me by his spirit. So I pass that on to y'all. I share that word. That was my word, but I'm exceptionally, exceptionally excited to be able to share it with you. And also to be able to share with you that my firstborn grandson, Dexter Howell, who is also Lauren's father and Tanya's son, is uh, in the uh, army and he is getting ready today as I speak. He's preparing to graduate from his uh, boot camp, camp from the army. We're going to be watching him. He's going to be on at 11 o'clock on Facebook. That's Dexter Howe. I'm sorry, I don't know what the link is to watch him or if you have to be invited or what. But I'm just excited. I just wanted to spread the good news. Just like last weekend, I was able to spread the good news that my grandson, Kareem, passed his real estate course test and i'm so excited he's prepared of course to go ahead and take that state exam so y'all keep my babies in prayer that they will continue to move forward and do well in the name of jesus as i pray for you and yours so you know i gotta fix something to eat for this occasion it's gonna be tanya if she's trying to get away and she and i are planning on watching dexter graduate together so what I'm going to do is I'm going to put together a little shrimp fried rice uh, for the occasion, y'all. Y'all know I have to have something going on on the stove. So, pretty much, I've done shrimp fried rice, but since this is what I'm doing, I thought I would share, since I wanted to share my good news with you as well. Thank you all for supporting and always sharing with me is the reason why I come on to say anything at all. Because I know that you all share with me, y'all share... Uh, with you know my when I need when I need a prayer for health reasons uh family matters and whatever but I want to also ask you all to rejoice right along with me as I celebrate my grandson's uh getting ready to oh I didn't mean to turn that burn on I'm celebrating my grandson getting ready to graduate from his uh I guess you call it boot camp and then he's on his way after that to uh, some more train, another six week training, he will come back, I guess, and be assigned. So now I have three babies in the army. My uh, grandson McCall is in the army. He's been in for, I believe this is McCall's third year. And uh, he's going to be stationed down at Fort Gordon, as I understand. And of course, he's the one whose other grandmother passed away. And we're still supporting and keeping him uplifted in the name of Jesus for his strength. That was the Nana that he stayed with most of the time when he was a little one. So, anywho, y'all, we're getting ready to go ahead and get this. Um, oh, I'm sorry, I cut that short. My other person that's in the army is my um, nephew. He's a little bit old, well. He's between the actually okay. McCall is the youngest. McCall, I think, is 28. 28, 29, then, um, well, the first, the young, I'm going from youngest to oldest, then DeAnthony, who is my nephew, my sister's only child, he is, DeAnthony is, I believe, 30, huh? now, I'm just, not, I'm about as bad with age as I am with names, so DeAnthony, I believe, is 30, so there's McCall, DeAnthony, and now there's Dexter, Dexter's 35. So Dexter got into the military right under the radar. I think they, I believe they changed the age. But anyway, I'm so excited because all three of those young men at one time or another have talked to their grandfather about being in the military. And I do know one thing, that if he were here, he would be one happy camper. Now, my husband was 
Air Force. Nonetheless, the military is the military. They all serve to uh, fight for these United States of America. And I'm just excited that they are taking advantage of the opportunity to be able to make a good life in the military. So, so much for that. Let me go ahead and get this shrimp fried rice going because I only got a few minutes to get it done. So it's not going to take that long. I've already uh, cooked my rice. I cooked some yellow rice mixed with a little bit of jasmine. I didn't have enough jasmine because you know when I do my shrimp fried rice with jasmine I try to cook that rice and, and have it a little bit drier because I don't want it to get mushy in the mix so I just got it and I don't want to I don't want to put water on it so I'm still trying to cool it down a little bit you know me I got it this bright idea to do this shrimp fried rice so thus we're going to have shrimp fried rice to nip along because it'll be Lunchtime, I would imagine by the time we get done, but my rice is already done. I'm cooling it down and I'm just going to sit it off to the side. I've got my shrimp all peeled and cleaned up. I'm going to sprinkle just a little bit of salt on them, get my veggies ready to go into my food chopper over here on the side. I'm going to do bell pepper, onion, and celery. So, y'all hang tight with me. I'm going to go ahead and get my oil in the pan. Cause I'm gonna start sauteing my veggies here just shortly. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to coarse chop these veggies in this next. And if it doesn't do well with the coarse chop, we'll take whatever chop it does. We certainly will. Um, hope y'all like I said. Hope y'all having a God bless Thursday morning. Hope everything that you want out of life is coming your way today. So if y'all hang on for me, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and continue chop. I'm trying this glass chopping board again. I'm, I'm not going to have to chop a lot on this. Um, I'm just going to chop it enough to get it into my food processor here. Like I said, I sort of kind of coarse chopped it, so it, it did pretty good. Just need to cut this into pieces small enough to get into there. And all I'm doing here, like I said, is just I'm going to coarse chop. sort of pulse this little thing is strong I tell you this little rascal here is kind of strong y'all just pulse it I think that's enough and what I'm gonna do is yeah did it just right I got a couple little pieces bigger than I want them but I'm going to do the celery the same way. And when I come back, we're going to get it in the pan. We're going to get this shrimp fried rice going, y'all. Okay, y'all. I've got my uh, veggies all chopped and ready to go into the frying pan. So, we're going to move over here to the frying pan. I've got one large uh, red pepper chopped. I've got uh, a medium onion. Well, we'll just go say a large onion. Because it was a large onion and four large stalks of, of celery because I want that flavor going through and through and through. So what I'm going to do is put it in this piping hot oil because I want it to saute really, really good. Okay. And as you know, when you when you put uh, anything that's not already piping hot into something that is going to slow down that cooking process, so we're not going to worry about that a whole lot because I've got to put all these ingredients in here. Mm. Throat dry. So, because I'm not going to be using salt, I've been told, like I said before, I have to cut down on my sodium. So when I'm fixing food... I have to fix it so I can eat it. So we're just going to start out with uh, sauteing these veggies. And basically they're going to do more sweating than they are sauteing. Then I'm going to get me some butter going in there. I think I'm just going to pre-melt my butter so that uh, I don't have to put that cold butter into the pan. And I'm just going to let those uh, veggies just sit there for a minute and go ahead and get my butter melted. Okay, while those, the uh, veggies are doing their thing in the skillet, I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning up my shrimp. I've got some turmeric on there. I'm going to put about a teaspoon of uh, 
complete season on them. They're going to be highly seasoned, of course, because I'm not putting salt. I'm not going to put any salt. I've got some Tony Chartres, no salt. Put his seasoning on there. Half teaspoon of that on. And then we're going to put, um, oh, wow, wow, wow. Okay, there it is. I already got it up. I'm going to put my garlic powder. I'm going to go ahead and start seasoning up my veggies here, too. Garlic powder on both. Now I think it's time for me to just stir this. Yes, there we go. It's all the way down to the bottom of the pan. So what I'm going to do then is get these all to the side of the pan. Because now what I need to do is get my butter going. I want to go ahead and get my shrimp in there. Um, I'm going to get it with just a little tad more, another tablespoon of olive oil. Get everything going. But I'm keeping that heat way, way, way up high. Because I, I want my shrimp to do the same thing that my veggies just did. Okay? So we're going to continue stirring that a little bit. A little chartreuse in there. So I'm using, the seasons I'm using, using is honey chocolate, onion powder, garlic powder, and I'm going to use some of this uh, Cajun, it has a tiny bit of salt, but just for that little bit of flavor is all I'm doing it for, okay? Now let me just go over here and get my butter, I'm going to go ahead and give my shrimp a stir, stir them up really, really good. I got to seal in my colander because I want to make sure any moisture, I towel dry them because I didn't want any moisture in those shrimp. Okay, so let's move that off for a minute. Okay, y'all, here I come with the butter. I'm coming with the butter. So here's what we're going to do with the butter. We're going to pour half of it right there, like so, and let it just get as hot as it can. I'm, I'm just going to back this up because I'm going to mix it in just a few seconds. We're going to get that as hot as we can. And I'm going to go ahead here. here. Mm, this is going to be good, Lord. It smells so, so good. I'm going to put a I thought I put, there we go. A little bit of the only that uh, seasoning that I just put in. Okay, we can just start dropping those shrimp in. Because you know it doesn't take that long for shrimp. Drop them in. Let that butter hit them real good. Still got my veggies off to the side as you can see. Y'all probably saying, wow, I've never seen nobody do fried rice like that. Well, guess what? You're in Peggy's kitchen today. You might see a lot of new inventions. If y'all know, y'all know me. When I'm cooking, let me tell you, I'm putting everything about me into this meal because I want it to be epic. This is for me and Tanya. Me and Tanya and for Karina here. So it's for the three of us and I want to taste this as good as it can possibly taste. So, go ahead and add some more shrimp down in there. That's the last, this is uh, two pounds of shrimp, y'all. I'm using jumbo shrimp and um, medium shrimp. I'm not going to even cut these. Usually I cut my jumbo shrimp. I'm not cutting them today. Okay. So now I can go ahead now and incorporate my veggies with my shrimp. How's that? How y'all like that little maneuver? Okay. And what you're going to do is just going to keep tossing them and tossing them and tossing them. This gives the veggies a chance to cook into them. This gives the shrimp the opportunity to get as done as they need to be. And you can do this with large shrimp. You know, not so much with small shrimp. So, as you can see, those shrimp are going to be really, really seasoned. I have got, I use a little bit of fish oil. My husband taught me to use this. I always put me a little bit of fish oil in You can't use a lot. That's just salty. Y'all know that. It's really, very salty. But that little bit, I don't think will hurt anything. Okay. Give these shrimp a few more minutes. I got just enough butter to pour over the dish once that rice gets in there. Because I want that butter going through that rice as well. I've got a little parsley I'm going to throw off in there. 
about a half a teaspoon of parsley that'll come out. Come out, come out, come out, parsley. You know, garnishes like this have a certain flavor that pulls out in the cooking process. I don't know exactly know how it works. I think it's science. It's just science. That's the problem is it's pure science. Of course, you know, you can't never put too much garlic in a shrimp dish. Okay. Wow, these are good. I was, when I was lying in the bed this morning, I was thinking about just doing shrimp wraps. But then I thought, man, nah, we're just going to make this an easy meal and just do shrimp fried rice, okay? Got everything going there. And everything is doing just what I want it to do. It's frying to not create any moisture or any water, as you can see in there. Those red peppers give it nice color. Mm -hmm. That's going to be really good, y'all. Like I said, it's not going to be over the salt. Anybody need to add more salt can. I'm just, you know, for that part. But I will actually add all of the other herbs that are not salty. I'll put plenty of those in there. And that way we don't have to worry about anybody who cannot have salt. Okay. Any herb that will pull this flavor. Now, poultry seasoning will. So, I'm going to dab it with a little poultry seasoning. I know the power of poultry season. And then at the end, I will hit it with just the tiniest bit of soy sauce. So what I can do now is just reach across here, and I'm going to start putting my rice in. Okay? I think we're at the point where we can go ahead and start adding the rice. Okay. And really, I could turn that heat off in just a minute because I think my shrimp is done. Okay? This is going to be loaded with shrimp. Loaded with shrimp. This won't be like when you go out to the takeout place and get shrimp and you be trying to figure out did they make the grade or not or did they forget to add the shrimp or not. But as you can see, the... Um, Shrimp will start to coat that rice really, really good. We're going to have us a nice big old dish here. Plenty of nice shrimp fried rice. So what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to flip that heat off because I know those shrimp are done. It's just a matter of mixing now. And we're going to let it sit and rest for a little while and let those flavors just float all the way through. And we're just going to mix, mix, mix until we get it all done. Okay, everything is nicely mixed in, so I'm going to pour that last about a fourth of a cup of butter on top of there. And there it is. We got our shrimp fried rice right on time. And what I'm going to do now is let it do what you call rest for a minute or two. I'm, just, I'm going to cover it because I don't want it to cook anymore. I just want it to sit there and for all those flavors to blend and that butter to go down through there and do what it does. To make it taste nice and buttery. So, we got our shrimp fried rice. <sighs> I think I hear torture coming in the door. So, that's how you do it, folks. And it does not take that long. You can have this on the table in 45 minutes. Trust me. Trust me, trust me, trust me. So, the shrimp fried rice is done. Hey! Hey! I had to change a heart on my gumbo other side. Let me do some shrimp fried rice, something that's much quicker. That was what I was putting on the menu at first. It was going to be gumbo, but that's going to be a little bit over the top for this morning. So we got our shrimp fried rice ready to go. I tried to set that TV on face. I got some kind of Facebook program on there. I don't know which kind. You can check it out. So, folks, thank y'all for tuning in with me. The shrimp fried rice is ready to go. Uh, just a little um, hint to y'all. I don't know how many of you use crab and shrimp, shrimp and crab boil oil. This is oil. Honey, 
I was going to put a, just a dab of do you into my fried rice. I'm glad I didn't. This little rascal right here is hotter than five loads of firecrackers on the 4th of July when the heat was 120 degrees. If you use it, be careful. It's hot. This is Zataran concentrated shrimp and crab oil. It is super duper hot, y'all. Super hot. So beware.